Good evening, it's a long time since I did a uh, video, so uh, just bear with me. Right, so I'm going to do a, uh, a morgue, uh, something for um, Lock Shield and all the Irish locks. Right, first up, tag, simplify, flower bright, sulfur. As you can see there, I'll put it back a wee bit. Right. So, start off at the back, in the back of the hook, twist it anti clockwise, slide through your your tread, bring it down, bring it back up again, and touch and turns, we finish with your hands, and slide your scissors straight through it. Right, thread, black, simplify, wax thread. Right, three quarters of the way down the hook, or sorry, a quarter of the way down the hook, and wind backwards. Scissors again, slide through your thread. Clockwise with your tread and flatten out your tread. And then back to the end of the shank. Right. Just getting my tre um, copper wire ready. Right, bring it back up. Stop short. Tie in. Backwards. Hold your copper wire out 45 degrees. What that happens? What that does then is slides your thread down to your your previous wrap. Right. I'm going to use Frank McPhillips dark sooty olive. Take out a. Uh, a mark from any lake, it's a really black body. Twist your try twist your thumb and anti clockwise anti clockwise. Whatever it may be, which your left or right hand is. Right, bring up your dubbin. Turn it around once, tie it. Start kind of a stepping out, kind of a la overlapping your previous wraps. So. Again, look at the body of a, a morg, it's a kind of a short enough body. Hackle, body hackle, is furnace. Tighten that so it doesn't slip. First wrap in front, then come down the even turns. With the copper wire, a simplified copper wire. Tie that in. Right, I do cut the very top part of the hackle here. Right. Brown CDC like that. Right. Just judge your body, your 
Morrig body is usually a third of the Morrig wing. So, we are in there. Pension loop. Two wraps. Just check it first. Trim off your stocks when you're happy. Next up is your wing. Just line them up here. So it's a brass wing. Like so. I have two of them. So what I'll do is that I'll put them on top of the CDC. Make sure now I have the right ones shown. them on top like so, just bring them past the CDC, grab a hold of the feather and pinch it, a pinch and loop, two turns just to secure so you can check it, sometimes you're going to have to move your head in that just to make sure that you are right. Okay, when you're happy with that, again, hold on to your wing. And clip your stop, your stems away, right. and tie it all in. Right. Pinch it off then, head hackle. Is a firmness again. Bring it down to the to the thread. You can use two hackles here if you want to. You can push it. Have a bushy head. In bringing your hack hackle at 90 degrees, three turns around us. Now, what I do is that I pull everything back and that secures the hackle from pulling out and build up your head. We finish with your fingers. thread is a little bit stronger than most threads so you can take it and give it the abuse Just cut off that stem never pull you only weaken your flight in right finish off I use varnish or UV resin to finish off so coat this with resin first Show you then how to do it. Okay. All right, with your fingers, pull them back towards the tip. Use your UV light, and that will shape your feather. to see with the light, light's a little bit too bright, but you can get it, yeah, hopefully you'll see it. Okay, I right, so just finish off the head now with, the, with UV resin. Again with the light, UV light. 
light. This is some simplified to you. It's a rechargeable light. It goes everywhere with me. Just plug it in. You don't have to worry about batteries. Then of course in the head it gives you a nice shiny head then. Right, thanks very much for watching. That is a simple Morag pattern. Right, good luck. See you next time. Video will be a little bit better. Thank you. Bye.